People often ask me, what things do I have to be good at to be successful in new skin and in direct selling? Well, let me tell you, it isn't the things you have to be successful in, it's really one thing. It's called inviting. You see, the ability to sound excited about what you're talking about, about what you're doing, but at the same time, to offer an invitation to view some type of a periodical, an article, to go to a webinar, to a meeting, is the key to the business. There cannot be any better time spent than to stand in front of the mirror or test yourself with your peers and practice your inviting skills. If it does not interest the people around you, if you play a recording of what you've just done and you're not excited, why would they be excited? Perfect the inviting skill. The technique I'm going to talk about is not really anything new necessarily. It's different encounters we have in life. You know, different uh, encounters maybe if you're single and you're out on the dating scene or, or maybe if you're out in any type of human interaction, there's, there's this interaction of uh, nonverbal cues, kind of how you position yourself. And, and I want to talk to you about posture. For example, let's say that, uh, that I was going to prospect you into this business. And, in the, uh, in the process of prospecting you, I'm trying to set the stage to where I can get the most out of that situation. Well, the tendency oftentimes when we're prospecting is if, if this is us and this is our prospect, we have a tendency oftentimes to lean towards that prospect, almost take a begging approach in a way. And, and you know, that happens quite often and the natural tendency is that person is going to kind of back away from you. And so what I always found is, is advantageous in this business, if I can find myself in a situation with a prospect where maybe I'm leaning back away from them, almost taking the business away, their tendency is to lean towards me. So for example, let's say that I was going to give you a call to kind of open the door uh, for prospecting with this business, and let's say your name is Brent. And uh, I might do something like this. Um, hey, hey Brent, this is Jeff. I know I haven't talked to you for a while and I'd like to catch up with you when we have some time, but the reason that I'm calling you right now is about business. Okay, now it's important that you establish that early in the conversation because if I chit chat with Brent for you know, 10, 15 minutes and then I throw the business thing in the mix, it becomes kind of an uncomfortable interchange from that point forward because I haven't seen him for a while. So I cut right to the chase then. And then I might say something like this. You know, Brent, when I thought about you know, giving you a call, I was very hesitant. In fact, I almost didn't call you, but I decided to call you anyway. Okay, now what that has done, if this is our posture, okay, what I've done is I'm not leaning towards Brent. I basically told Brent when I thought about calling you, I was thinking maybe not calling you. So I start to lean back, okay? But I decided to call you anyway. Now that's a power statement right there. Okay, Brent, I'm deciding to call you anyway. I'm controlling that situation. So I set my posture right here. Now Brent doesn't even know what I'm talking about yet, but he's leaning my direction. You can feel it on the phone. Okay, so I decided to call you anyway. I wasn't sure if this is for you or not. It may not be. So my posture is completely here now. But you owe it to yourself to check this out. See, so I've maintained my posture. I've got Brent right here. Now the next step, I wouldn't launch into a long dissertation on the telephone. The next step would be to either, you know, send him to a webinar, set a time to meet. Whatever my next step is, I've set the stage for that and I can play from there. Okay, so it's important that you understand that interchange. If I was to take the opposite approach and say, Brent, I wanted to give you a call because I got this business and you would be so good at this business. Well, now I'm leaning right here and you can just feel it. Brent's leaning this direction and he really doesn't know what it's about. And oftentimes in this position right here, you'll get a response back. Well, that's not something I'd be interested in. Well, how does he know he's not interested? He doesn't even know what it is yet. All he knows is that the posture is not right. So whoever controls that posture and that interchange, I don't care if it's at the presentation, if, it's, if you're in a close, if you're overcoming objections, if you maintain posture with this type of interchange, oftentimes you'll set the stage for success for yourself as long as you're in control of that interchange and who's leaning where. So hopefully that little technique or tool will help you along the way because 
It's all human interaction. That's really what it is at its base. You could have the verbiage, you could have the words to, to close and overcome objections, but if your posture is not right, it doesn't matter what words you're, you're using. The important thing is, is that you have the, the lean going the right direction.